Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I'm going to be doing a restoration on this military helmet liner. Maybe pass these uh, ideas along to you so that if you ever decide to get into something like this, you'll have a little bit of an idea what it takes. The story behind this is that a good friend of mine who's collected a lot of my artwork over the years had some buddies that wanted this restored. I realized this would be pretty fun and I'd really like to help these guys out. When they were kids, this was their father's helmet, and like kids do, they took it down and started playing with it. The next thing you know, they busted it up, and they felt bad ever since, and uh, have wanted to have this thing restored. I think we're gonna make this look pretty nice. So, let's get started. I'll use this compass, and you can get a very accurate measurement from one point to another. I'll be using this, this to measure as I go around. I want this to be very exact and precise whenever I tape it off. And the reason is I look at this and I think it was originally taped off and then hand painted. I want this to be as authentic as I can and in doing so, another thing I'll be using a lot is tracing paper. You can tape it and you can do an exact trace of that piece of art and save it so that when we strip the helmet, we still have this precise uh, image. So the idea is to get as many measurements as possible, photos, everything, because once I take the paint off here, this information's gone. I put a very slight curvature in the tracing paper because I want it to be exact. So with the assistance of the beautiful Roswell, I'll know exactly where these graphics go and they'll be exactly in the same place that they were when we started. That looks really good right there. Thank you, Roswell. So with these tools, I've gotten some precise measurement of the size of the letters, the distance between the letters, the distance between the letters and the stripes. Like I've really documented this so whenever I come back on with this lettering, I can make it as close as possible. As you can see, before you even start taking the old paint off, you have to have a lot of really good documentation to get the best restoration possible. Now I'll save these chips until the job is done and the reason is I'll use them for color match if I need additional measurements try to save as much documentation as I can. So this is very interesting this helmet has been painted several times there's layers it's like paint geology there's a dinosaur in here I just know it. <laughs> This is black, then the yellow's on top of it, but then there's a layer of primer. Underneath that, there's another something that was yellow before. And then over on the other side, I found some red underneath there. So this helmet has a pretty neat history and a dinosaur inside. All right, just kidding. So I was almost done scraping when I noticed this United States. Just kidding. Thought I'd have a little fun while I was at it. This exterior tape's made of plastic and it seems to work pretty good on projects like this. The next step will be to scuff the surface so that the paint, hopefully, doesn't fall off like it did the first time. 
Adding a little tooth always helps adhesion. So a quick disclaimer, this primer works great on these small art projects and things that aren't going to be out in the sun, but if you're doing anything automotive, I highly recommend using a quality automotive primer. First, I use a self-etching primer, followed by a sandable filler. Then, we'll let it set overnight. Once it's nice and dry, I'll wet sand it with 600 grit sandpaper, wipe it off real good, make sure it's clean, and then it's time for the base. Next step is to apply Spray Max 2K Glamour Clear. This is a two part clear automotive grade in a can. I have an upcoming video on my channel on how to use this stuff. You really want to watch it. This stuff is spectacular. So now we're ready for our graphics. I'll be using Sign Painter's Enamel right on top of the clear. And so that's it for part one. Thank you for joining me. In part two, we'll be hand painting our graphics in enamel with brushes, just like it was originally. Sure hope you'll join me. Till next time, Rob Rocket, over and out.